The Pokemon company has struck back at unscrupulous hobby stores planning to scalp limited edition Van Gogh Pikachus for big money. The card, Pikachu with grey felt hat, mimics the painting style of 19th century Dutch master Vincent Van Gogh. The card caused absolute chaos when it was launched at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam last September. With the re-release of the card announced, Dutch hobby stores began making unauthorised deals with collectors for as much as €100 Euros a card. The Pokemon company decided to cut allocations for these greedy little stores to 10 cards each, down from 100. Now big chain stores will receive far more of the cards, which are only supposed to be given away to customers who make legitimate purchases above a certain amount. Microsoft is seemingly ready to revolutionise the console wars. Recent rumours suggest Microsoft is planning to bring some Xbox exclusive games to Sony's PlayStation 5 and the Nintendo Switch for the first time ever. Some of the games include the upcoming Indiana Jones and the Grand Circle, Sea of Thieves, Hi-Fi Rush and Starfield. Many Xbox fans aren't thrilled about the rumours, however. One user on Twitter went as far as to say this. Microsoft doesn't care about us. We've been fighting this war for nothing. Phil Spencer, head of Xbox, apparently referred to the rumours in a message posted to his Twitter. We're listening and we hear you. We've been planning a business update event for next week, where we look forward to sharing more details with you about our vision for the future of Xbox. Stay tuned. A Suicide Squad gameplay clip has apparently outed a new playable baddie in the franchise, Mr. Freeze. I didn't expect you to be the weak link in this chain, Freeze. The spoiler was dropped by supervillain Brainiac as he was battling Harley Quinn, who, as you recall, is one of the unrepentant crooks in the squad. <laughs> no! Harley, no! no. Worth it. Brainiac is taunting Quinn in typical arch-villain style, dropping lines every time he gets a hit. At one point in the fight, he says, I didn't expect you to be the weak link in this chain, Freeze. Clearly, there was a mix-up in the scripting department, with Brainiac swapping in the name of well-known Batman villain Freeze in place of Quinn. You'd be wise to give up. Is Freeze set to get a start in the squad? Is that fact or mere hyperbole? Credit to Reddit user Zeronti Plays for spotting the spoiler and PC gamer for publishing it. Season 1 of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League will be released in March. Disney is bringing its iconic universe to Fortnite. The Walt Disney Company and Epic Games have teamed up to bring the magical world of characters and experiences to the Fortnite ecosystem. This isn't the first time the two entertainment giants have worked together. Disney and Epic have collaborated on past in-game events for Fortnite, including the Marvel Nexus War with Galactus. Disney CEO Bob Iger shared his his thoughts alongside the announcement saying, Our exciting new relationship with Epic Games will bring together Disney's beloved brands and franchises with the hugely popular Fortnite in a transformational new games and entertainment universe. Epic Games is on a mission to expand Fortnite across many different audiences, including recently teaming up with LEGO to create a block-themed mode in the game. This power glitch will make your life way easier in-game. A player has found a way to surpass the traditional weight limit and move around any stack of materials up to 9,999 items at once. Reddit user Beyond Smash was the first person to find the glitch, and he posted a guide to the website late last week. Traditionally, your character has an upgradable weight stat, allowing you to carry a certain amount of items in your bag before your character becomes slower and unable to move freely. This glitch, which is confirmed to still be working after the latest update, works by opening a chest, dragging an item stack out of it, and closing the chest menu. The item stays on screen and can be moved anywhere else in game. There are only two things that are unable to work with the glitch, fast travel and trying to move more than one stack at a time. You've been watching Polymos this game week. Please subscribe.